Hallelujah. Come on and give God a good hand clap of praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Truly, he's so worthy this morning of all the praises this morning. Come on and give God a good hand clap of praises. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How many know he's worthy this morning? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I found all that I need. I found it in the Lord. And I found all that I need. I found it in the Lord. I had to fall.
all things are possible to them that believe this morning. All we got to do is to believe on him. Whosoever believe on him. Thank you. All we got to do is set our eyes and our faces on things of God. I mean, no, he's just a prayer answering God. My God, can't nobody tell me that he don't have some prayer.
when Satan desires his sister song. Praise God, but we ought to be sober minded in the hour that we in. As we know that the devil is going about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But we're going to stand and withstand against the wise of the enemy. So we're just going to get ready and open up the testimony co pastors preaching this morning. And we thank the Lord. Let's pray for those that's not here. Whatever got them bound or hindered, that they'll come on in and pray and seek the Lord. But right now, we're just going to open up for testimony. You got a testimony that God has done something for you. Just come on and give him praise this morning. Mother Lily got the mic. Give her a hand clap. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, I come in the house. Hallelujah. Give him praise this to the King of Kings. Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. You know how love of a Jose. I ain't got to be pumped today. I ain't got to be prime. Hot love of a Jose. When you know where you know where your help come from. Glory to God. You ain't got no problem praising him. Hallelujah. You ain't got no problem telling him you love him. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He makes a loud noise. It shouldn't be quiet in here today. Glory to God, the long clock didn't wake you up. Hallelujah. Glory to God, he didn't put food on your table. Hallelujah. Glory to God, you got a ride to ride in. That's a blessing today. Hallelujah. I thank God for our shepherd today. Glory to God, co-pastor, the ushers, the musicians. Hallelujah. The evangelists, glory to God, hallelujah, all of those that make up this body today, glory to God, I thank God, hallelujah, for Ty and her family, glory to God, hallelujah, Jesus, for bringing me, getting me here to church today, glory to God, you know, hallelujah, I said, Pastor, hallelujah, she spoke the word, I said, I'll see you tomorrow, Glory to God if I get a ride. Hallelujah, she said, you will be there. You will get a ride. I said, hallelujah. I said, thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you. Hallelujah, I took the word and I believed God. Glory to God, I had already started getting my bath. Glory to God, get myself ready. Hallelujah. Believe in some way, somehow. Glory to God, you can't see this as a faith walk. Hallelujah, that I was going to have a ride. Glory to God, we can't stay at home. Hallelujah, I get strength when I see his face, Brother Baxter. I get strength, hallelujah, when I see Ted. Hallelujah, when I see others gathering, you give me strength. Hallelujah, we draw strength from one another. Glory to God, we got to assemble ourselves. I don't care what come or what may, we got to believe God. Because things ain't going to get no better. Glory to God. LGBTQ is getting into the troll. Glory to God, I'm telling somebody. They ain't going to want us to talk about Jesus. Glory to God. That's why it's going to be communist. Uh, hallelujah. We can't run with the footman. Uh, glory to God. And we can't take this. Uh, how we going to run? How we going to stand? Uh, hallelujah. When we get communist. Uh, glory to God. When they take the Bibles. Uh, hallelujah. All of these things that we're suffering now. We can't be above Jesus, but we can be as he is. Hallelujah. So are we today. And I give him thanks. I give him glory. I give him honor. Hallelujah. He's to all of the honor. And I thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank God. I thank God for being here today. I thank God for you. Hallelujah. I thank God for what he's doing and what he's going to do in this service. Hallelujah. I got an expectancy. I come reaching out to him, not looking to co 
on, Pastor. Hallelujah. I'm reaching to Jesus. I'm touching Jesus. If I can touch the hem of his garment, I will receive what I need yeah, to yeah. And I thank him for it. I know what I'm say. I'm excited. I come in with excitement. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you've been on a bed, a deathbed, I was near death. Hallelujah. And God, the God that I serve, he'll suddenly come to your temple. Ain't telling you what somebody said. I'm telling you what I've experienced. I'm telling you what I know about this man called Jesus. Glory to God. He suffered much. Glory to God. No matter what you face. Hallelujah, it's been taken care of. He took care of it at the cross. Believe, hallelujah. And this is what I'm, this is my life, hallelujah. And I thank, I thank God for being here today. Y'all pray for me as I go on this journey. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give the Lord a hand clap. Somebody else got a testimony. Thank you, Lord. Can somebody else, the Lord, has done something for him. Thank God for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come and give me a heal. Thank you, Lord. Hey, glory. Thank you, Lord. I don't know about you, but I got to pray in this time. Oh, yes. Hey! I thank and praise the Lord this morning. Praise God for, for raising me up. Thank and praising God for that stirring testimony that you gave. The thing that you said that we are help one to, to another, just the things that's being said. How God has moved for people. How He's settled in my in my in in, 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 in in place for me. I thank God for my pastor, praise God. That has really helped me along the way, a long, a mighty long way. I thank God for my wife this morning, who's always been there right with me, God. Who has always been a help for me. I don't thank God for all of you. I'm trying to tell you there's been some prayer going on. Amen. Every time, everything I ever went through, praise God, it seems like when I go to somebody in the church, they'll say, Brother Hill, they pray for you today. Yes, and I'm telling you, you can feel the prayer. Yes, sir. You can feel it. Yes. You can feel it. I'm trying to tell you, the Lord has lifted up a stand. Hallelujah. I was reading in the scripture where Jesus touched this man. And he said, praise God, now you go and tell the priest. And praise God, let that be a testimony. Yeah. I got a testimony this morning. Yeah. I ain't got to that same place where I was, but Jesus lifted up a standard. Yeah. I can stand up better. I can walk better. Yeah. I can step in that truck, brother. I thank God for prayer. I thank God for Jesus. I thank Him for how He moved. I thank Him, praise God, for the job that He gave me. Yeah. They've done things for me they don't even know they did. They don't know they did because I couldn't tell everybody. Sometimes it, it ain't a good thing to tell everything. Sometimes it's good to, to just keep some stuff to yourself. But amen, the Lord lifted up a standard for me. Praise God, the steps on that truck were so high. I was having such a hard time trying to pull up in that thing. The Lord blessed me with something else to do. Praise God, I'm still trucking, but the steps weren't as high that I could pull up in it. I never told nobody about it. But I talked to the Lord about it. Help me, Jesus. Help me, this thing is getting to be too much fun. Praise God, after the prayer was going on last Sunday when I was standing over there, praise God. You know, we got to believe something you told me a long time ago. The greatest part of prayer is believing what you pray for. Amen. I'm trying to tell you here today, brother, it works. Yeah. You gotta believe it. Yeah. You gotta believe it. When them hands get laid on your body, it's more than just jumping and falling down. There's got to be some belief there somewhere. You got to believe God. You gotta believe He's gonna move. I'm trying to tell you, I'm living proof. I can walk a whole lot better than I was. I was standing up, I was getting so sick on my stomach, it seems like I wasn't gonna be able to stay in the whole service sometimes. That's where the word comes in. Yeah. Sometimes you got to get in the press. And you got to make up in your mind you ain't going to let the devil steal your joy. Because your joy is in the word of God. You ain't going to let the devil force you out of this service. I'm trying to tell you I have to move. I thank God for you, brother. Uh, I think you might have been the one that told me last Sunday that God is going to lift up a standard for you. But I was walking out of the door, a young man said, Brother Hill, 
God is going to give you your strength back. Yeah. It took me a long time to get in this place. I've been told it's going to take me a little while to get back to where I was. It ain't going to happen overnight, but God is moving. Hey. I'm telling you, he's moving right now. Amen. And I thank God for Jesus yeah. this morning. Y'all continue to pray much for the healing. Yeah. library here in Denver, like the, the one right in downtown, right up the street, and um, sometimes we get some patrons that are, most of them are very friendly and nice, some of them, though, the occasional ones, you get some that are just, uh, have a spirit of rawness, and they're, they're not very, they, uh, at least they're not always kind and nice to the, the people that are trying to help them, and, you know, that's the truth, you can't let the devil uh, take your door from you, Amen. there, there will be some events that I, I don't believe things happen by chance. I don't believe things happen randomly. Everything happens for a reason. And there's two separate events that uh, one happened just this morning, another one happened yesterday when I was working at the library. There was a patron towards the end of the day that actually got into a bit of an argument with the parents of another patron that, you know, small children that were running about. And, um, you know, in this library, we have uh, change dispensers. And you put your money in, you print something, it gives you a change. Well, there were children playing around the change dispenser um, where this lady was trying to pin off an item. She was getting on to them and causing a bit of a public disturbance. I walked up to ask uh, what the issue was. And this uh, lady, um, no, no particular, I wasn't there at first. And then I was trying to ask the mediator, this uh, lady who was grilling this other couple, the, the, the parents of these children, looked at me, raised a hand, and first told me, if I recall correctly, told me to shut I, I was told me to shut up, raise my hand, and then I said, ma'am, with all due respect, I work here. She looked at me, and I'm not going to repeat the word she said, but um, uh, to, to give you an impression, she said, I don't give, and then so on and so forth. And, and I was in a state of shock, and let me tell you, have you ever been so angry at someone that you know, you're trying to help. You are get, you are there to help a person. Yeah. And they turn at you and want to curse you out while you're trying to do your job. I was angry that moment. I'm not going to mean the boss would be angry, but sitting on, I was angry that moment. Oh if I hadn't known any better, I would have let probably some words slip. But glory be to God, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything at all. I was in such a state of shock that someone would act like that. Because as I said, most of the patrons are friends. Indeed, indeed, most of you, I mean, Brother Hill, you just said, I mean, you can't let the devil take your joy from you. Yeah. Devil, this was on a Saturday. This was right before the day I was going to go to church. And just this morning, I was withdrawing my tithes from the bank. I had somebody that I needed to put into the bank. Not only did the machine, like, break down, not only did it not insert the money, to my knowledge, it didn't even give me the money back. So I failed to deposit. I was upset about that. But I'm not going to let the devil take my joy. On my way back, I thought about that. I had to, I mean, just like that song I said this morning, I had to fall to my knees. And I would thank God for that. The Lord gives me, takes away. And another thing, I work in this, I just work, I said I work in this library. I was speaking, and I have been speaking to my manager over the last several weeks. Last month, we don't get paid now. Like my, my mother lives in Arkansas, and I'm visiting my dad for the summer usually. And in Arkansas, they get they've been raising the minimum wage like a dollar for the past four years. It's like I think ten or eleven dollars per hour now. And Arkansas federal minimum wage is seven twenty five. And I'm working at the library, and I told my manager, you know, we're not getting really paid enough. And let me tell you, you know, he was in full agreement. He was in full agreement. We we don't have in the state of in the state of Alabama federal minimum federal minimum wage laws. I told my boss that a few weeks later, I just found out a couple weeks later, I got a raise there. <laughs> you can't tell me, you cannot tell me that you can't let the devil take your from you. You cannot tell me the Lord does not hear your prayers. Lord hears everything we say, every comment we make. We're disappointed. The Lord knows we're disappointed. The Lord knows when we're upset about something. But let me tell you, when he says that he's a provider that will be there for us, he's not lying when he says that. He's not a man that he wants to lie. 
So thank you. So thank you. those three events, none of this is random. And I thank the Lord for just these, these small things that seem so small all come together for, into a greater whole for a purpose. Yes. So that I can stand here and I can give a testimony. Maybe it was to increase my patience. Maybe it was a test just to see how I react. For all I know, th th those two events, what if I had cursed that lady? What if I had allowed myself to slip into sin? What if I had this morning and they started punching the AT machine and got upset because when I entered that money, not only did it not deposit, my money, but he didn't even give me my money back after that error. And then I would have come here without that spirit, who, and then everyone else would have had to find that spirit that was attached to me, and I could have missed something that was said. So that is God. There's a reason why that happened. The Lord knows. The Lord knew I was going to happen before I went to the ATM. So thanks be to God for that. All these events, so I want to say be encouraged because all these events happen for a reason. Right. And, and, and yes, it's upsetting. I mean, the, the, Lord never, I mean, the Lord never said that you're not going to be upset when something like that happens, but sin not. Right. Do not sin. Right. And so thanks to the Lord for that. I, I'm, I'm thankful for that. And you know, I looked at my bank account just this morning, and I could see where that increase in wage came in. I was like, thank the Lord for that. Here I was. I was I've been working this job for about going on two months now, going on three months. And I commented earlier on, you know, uh, Mr. Mr. So and So, I'm, we're not getting paid enough. We're not. We're, it's just like just, it's so small compared to what I was making in Arkansas. And here I am now making just about as much as I was making in Arkansas. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's, yeah. that's something to be thankful for. Glory to God for that. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah
all that we've been through. He brought us through. It was Jesus. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Anybody else got a testimony? This is the top of a hand clap of praise. Oh my God. I was just saying them words meant something in me. Hallelujah. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. He has kept me from all evil with my mind. Glory to God. Thank the Lord for that testimony. Hallelujah. From everybody. Sister Davis, Mother Betty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I just couldn't sit back there no longer. Hallelujah. Knowing that the Lord has kept me another day. Hallelujah. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Hallelujah. Somebody ain't able to lift their hands this morning. Somebody ain't able to walk this morning. Hallelujah. But he woke me up this morning. 46 years old. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I thank him for every breath. Hallelujah, glory to God. I thank you for the activities of my limbs. Hallelujah, glory to God. And most of all, I thank you for the Holy Ghost that he put down on the inside of me. Hallelujah, glory to God. And I thought for myself, God, I love myself. God knows I do. Hallelujah, glory to God. But if it wasn't for his death, I wouldn't have had a birth. Hallelujah, glory to God. We ought to thank him on today. Hallelujah, glory to God. Just, it's my birthday, hallelujah. But that don't matter. It's all about Jesus. Hallelujah, every day for me is all about Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. I want him to phase me out, hallelujah. And let him shine on through, hallelujah. So nobody, when they see me, they don't see me. Hallelujah, I want him to see the Jesus in me. Hallelujah, glory to God. So thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah for his birth, for his life, for his death on today. Hallelujah, glory to God, because he gave me a chance to live. Hallelujah, glory to God, and live my life more abundantly. Hallelujah, through him, glory to God, under his anointing. Hallelujah, walking in his way. Hallelujah, because that's the only way. Hallelujah, your best life is in Jesus. Hallelujah, they always say they're living their best life, but if that life ain't in Jesus, hallelujah, ain't nothing good about it. Your best life is in Jesus on today. Hallelujah, glory to God. I thank God for everyone. My pastor, hallelujah, co-pastor. Glory to God, I ain't too good with the preliminaries, hallelujah. But thank God for everyone that's here. And I ask y'all to continue to pray my strength in the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Come on and pray. Now the day that the Lord has kept us. Oh my God, I don't know about y'all, but I'm enjoying life. I'm enjoying life. No, I thank God for everybody that's here today. Thank God for the saints. Thank God for uh, my wife and beautiful wife across the street. Thank God for my pastor, co-pastor, all the ministers, everybody in their respective place. Man, it's nothing like being in the house of God. It's nothing like knowing the word of God. But you know what? There's nothing like having it on the inside. There's nothing like, you know, so many people forget about, Lord, lead me and guide me. Show me what to do daily. Come on now. Because we just, you know, it's natural just to do your own thing and not really realize the things that surround us. But I just give God the praise that I used to be in a place where I just jumped up and went anywhere and did anything. And, you know, it was so much trouble and you could cause yourself so much trouble. Yeah. You know, I was telling one, one guy uh, some things that I, that I did and that we blame the devil on. A lot of times it ain't the devil, it's us because we don't listen. But God is still a merciful God. You know, we ought to give God a praise today. Out of all our faults, out of all our troubles, out of all the things, the mistakes we make, he still loves us today. We ought to give him the praise. We shouldn't come up in the house of God and not give him the praise. That's due. Now, I can understand people that don't know him. I can understand people that don't know who Jesus is. That's running wild and don't know. But when you know Jesus, nobody shouldn't have to tell you to lift your hands up and give him a praise. But the Lord began to talk to me about 
one thing, and I'm going to get out of the way. He said, there's a difference between a secondary praise and a primary praise. He said, now I can thank you, and I can thank God for every testimony that's been here, that came up here, and what God did for each and every one of my brothers and sisters. That's secondary. But when you got a primary praise, you can thank God for what he's done for you. I don't know about y'all, I got a primary praise. started off, you know, talking about just the world in general. Right. And then I got to tell them, hey, you know what? God knows all things. God put you here. Hey, you can make it through anything with God. And it was uh, a white guy and his son in there, and I stopped and talked to him and let him know, man, listen, growing up, God ain't just serving God. He ain't say it was going to be easy. Right. You know what I'm saying? He said he'll protect you and keep you, and he'll shield you. He'll continue to bless you if you serve him. Yeah. You're going to have problems with anything you do. Yes, as long as you got God, you're going to always make it through. Amen. So I, I got to tell him, I said, man, I don't care what nobody tell you. 
Your friends try to tell you to do something wrong, they'll always go for right. Because if they tell you something wrong, they ain't none of your friends. I used to get out there and I think about now, all my friends, yeah, man, boy, you know you bad, did that? So I had that planted in my head. Now I got to try to be the baddest thing out there. But now I know, I said, man, I let that devil trick me, man, with all this sense I got all this long time. And he ain't doing nothing but trying to take me out. I said, man, it made no sense to serve God. Because at least I know I got a blessing. I got some faith for me. Take me from the thing I do. So I ain't going to hold y'all. I just like to thank God for, you know, just come this to my life and, and, and continue to watch me and keep me to the cross. Man, I thank God for y'all and God bless all y'all. Thank God. Thank you. God done something for my man. Thank you some bad little boys. <laughs> Praise God. We had a piano, we had an organ, we had bar, and they went back there and painted it while we had it. <laughs> Him and his brother painted the man over. Oh my God. Painted him white. <laughs> Thank God for what he's doing in this life. Would you like to have something to say? His wife. I just thank God. I'm here. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Well, I thank God for keeping me through surgery. And when I got out of surgery. And I just ask each and every one of y'all to keep me and my baby girl. She had to have surgery, so she got cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, but God got her too. Hallelujah! Oh yeah! Already making a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Thank thank you. Lord. Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Cause He kept me through it all. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God for your Would you like to have something to say? Thank God for you give her a hand. Right? Right. 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 Anybody else got a testimony before we move on? Thank God for our virtues and grief is awesome. Anybody else? Is that Calandra back there? Come on and say something. You might want to say something. <laughs> say something. Oh, she's going to say something about Calandra thinking about it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's bad to want me to introduce myself. My name is Tanisha Horton. I am a member of Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church, where Vincent T. Owens is our pastor. Um, I've been only been for a few years now, so she invited me to church this morning. I just thank you guys for allowing me to come and serve. Amen. 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 Mother Camilla, you want to sing us a song before we move on? Think about this. Mm -hmm. If do God see our lives 
as born again believers, blood washed, walking in the word, long walking, hearing the word, got the word, supposed to be the light of the world. Do he see enough in us to keep us here another day? Do he see us? He see enough in us to keep us to get old. Come on. Do he see that? Come on. I question myself. Do you see enough in me to keep somebody on a wall for I decide to do so much, but I can't. But he got to see enough in me to keep me another day. It's another day. Whatever God, y'all, get in the word, listen to the word, and most of all, walk in faith. Love one another like it's the last day of your life. Because we don't know. None of us got a telegram this morning that we would be here today. And nobody got man that said we're going to be here tomorrow. So do God see enough in us as believers a light? We blind in one another in here. But are you a light out the door? In the darkness, they need to see a beacon of hope. And we are the hope, we are the light. There's nothing too hard for God. Come on and give the Lord a hand for that. God is good. Sister Angie, come on and give it. Move on. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. I just feel it. I feel the Holy Ghost coming up. My God. Hey, Lord! My God. Hey! Hallelujah. I feel praise. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for each and every one of you, pastor and everybody in their respective places. I listened to the testimony I listened to the testimony this morning, and a lot of them, the things that I had went through over this past week and the week before. Last week when I walked in this church, I seen Sister Deborah get up and praise the Lord. I was suffering so bad in my body. I mean, that devil, he had me. He had me for two weeks. I was down. I was down. I said, Lord. I got to get up out of here. I got to shake myself. I had to call on Jesus. I had to call on Jesus. Even though I had to lay in the bed and call on him. But Lord knows he came through my rescue. How many know that devil tried to take me out? feel like it, bro. Oh, God. I told the Lord. I said, Lord, give me strength. Give me strength. My husband said, what is it? I said, I don't know. You better go to the doctor. I said, no, I ain't going to go to the doctor. I ain't going to get in the prayer line. I'm going to believe in Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to pray for myself because I know a time that I ain't going to be able to get in the prayer line. Yeah. I got to tell faith. I've been asking God to increase my faith, increase my faith. And I've been asking God to help me and to show me, me, me. Yeah. I'm not worried about nobody else, but yeah. I'm trying to worry about me. Yeah. I said, God, take all the hypocritical little things up out of me. Yeah. Show me. Yeah. It's time to get hypocritical things yeah. out of your life. Yeah. It's, my yeah. it's time to love and to show love and to be love. And yeah. I said, God, help me to walk in that light and to love and to show somebody. How many know this week I had to do that out? It's all right to be on a man's job, but the Lord don't taught us. I had to respect my boss, and I had to tell my boss That's something. It. And I had to tell him this then. I understand what you're saying, and I'm listening to what you're saying. But listen to what I'm saying, too. I said, I respect you, and you being my boss, and you being my boss, and that everything. Because the Lord had me to go back, and I had to learn how to yeah. give respect to others. Mm-hmm. I had to learn how to give respect to yeah. He's teaching me. He's teaching yeah. me. But at the end of the day, when I got through talking to my boss, Pastor, I want you to know he had some respect for me. Yeah. It's, all, it's all about having respect yeah. for one another. It's all about walking in Christ and talking yeah. and yeah. acting right in Christ. How many know when my fellows want to get fellowed up and pucker and all this here? I'm like the little brother right there. I had to calm down. I said, Lord, I'm angry, but I'm not going to sin now. I did angry? Yeah. 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 And I did not step past. I did not sin. And I thank God for the changes that he put on the inside of me. Mm-hmm. I see what God is doing for me. Yeah. I don't care about nothing else as long as he's working on me right yeah. now. I'm asking him to work on me, take all these flowers out of me, take all this other stuff out of me. You know, people want to pinpoint folks in. I ain't got time to pinpoint nobody but myself today. It's all about me. I'm standing in the need of prayer this morning. I'm praying for my sisters and brothers, but let yet you know I'm praying for myself. Mm-hmm. I don't told my sisters and brothers them. Hey, 
Y'all know the way. You don't been in here just like I don't been in here. If they don't want to come, Pastor, don't hinder me. Don't hinder me. Right. I ain't got time for that. Amen. I ain't going to hinder me because the Lord knows. My mother done brought us up in the church and they done showed us the way. And it's for me to stay in here. I can't help if nobody else stay. I'm staying in here. I thank God this morning for each and every one of y'all. You know, I told y'all about I lost my pocketbook and everything. Yeah. And all that. I had something in there in that pocketbook that was valued to me. When I went to my little niece's house and I got there, she I said something other. She came out and she gave me something one of the same items. I said, look at God. Yeah. Look at God. Yeah. Hallelujah. They stole my pocketbook, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. They didn't steal my tithes and offers. You know why? Because my tithes and offers was in the bank. They couldn't get my checkbook. I didn't all that out. I said, Lord, I thank you. They didn't get my tithes and my offers. I didn't tell them I didn't need to spend that little money. No how cost I get. But one thing about it, I still had my money to come to church. I still had my money to put in the streets. I always did everything. But you know what? I still got gas in my car. I still got my lights on. I still got water. I still got food on the table. Yeah. And guess what? My husband was well when I left this All morning. Right. All right. All right. All right. Amen. 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 It's a community that your brother again. You want to Which one? Okay. Oh, okay. That's a brother. That's your old. Okay. We got to have him back with us. Thank the Lord. God is good. Eh? God is so good. We thank God. Good to have Brother Bob and all of you in. Praise God. Nobody else has the testimony or song they want to sing. We're just going to go ahead on and let Sister Tammy give us our announcements. Give her a hand clap of praises. <laughs> oh my God. Mm, I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost is still in the moving out of night. Still feeling them on the inside. Announcements for Sunday, October the 23rd. Let's remember our Bible study Tuesday night beginning at 7. Friday nights begin calling in for 6.45 for scripture reading. Prayer beginning immediately following scripture reading at 7. Brother Taylor from Mobile will be here with us on next Sunday for our family and friends day. Um, let's continue to bring the blankets and socks in for the blanket and sock drive as we have partnered um, with Dothan House for the Mark Phillips conference. And on November the 19th, We'll do a feed um, for that complex and give out the blankets and the socks. Also, Sister Davis is asking for help on November the 12th to um, stuff the bags with the blankets and the socks. And I believe the feeding on the 19th will begin at 12 noon over at the Fellowship Hall. So let's remember those that are sick and unable to be in to keep them in prayer. Um, keep those, keep them uplifted that God will lift standard and heal them in their bodies and anyone wishing to pay your tithes and offering through church catch app is dollar sign church of Dothan thank you those are the announcements amen don't forget the announcements praise God so nothing else we're going to change the order of the service we're going to go ahead and get our tithes